novelist Salman Rushdie in surgery upon stage stabbing. Author Salman Rushdie, 75 years old, has been stabbed on stage at an event in New York State. Eyewitnesses say he was struck many times by an attacker wearing a mask. Police said he appeared to have been stabbed in the neck. His literary agent says he is now in surgery but doesn't have an update on the author's condition. Rushdie was treated on stage at the Chautauqua Institution and Arts and Education Centre, then taken to hospital by helicopter. A suspect was arrested at the scene and is in custody, New York State Police say. Rushdie faced death threats and went into hiding for nearly a decade after his book, The Satanic Verses, was published in 1988. Carl Levin was the witness at an event at the Chautauqua Institution at the time when Salman Rushdie was attacked. It was just an absolutely horrible thing to witness, Levin said. He described seeing someone run onto the stage and repeatedly stab Salman Rushdie. Here's a summary of some of the latest developments following the attack on author Salman Rushdie in the U.S. state of New York. Rushdie's agent says his client has been undergoing surgery after being elected to hospital. The agent had no more information to share about his Rushdie's condition. The novelist was due to give a lecture at the Chotel Gua Institution. Alongside Henry Reeves, the founder of a non-profit organization which protects persecuted writers. Both men were attacked before the event began. Eyewitnesses described the mask wearing a silent storming the stage with what appeared to be a knife. Rushdie is said to have been struck many times in the neck and torso area. Reeves received minor head injuries. Police say they took a suspect into custody. This scene, the New York State Governor, has credited a police officer with saving Rushdie's life. Condemnation of the attack and messages of support have come from far and wide, including from U.S. Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer and authors Neil Gurman and J.K. Rowling. The Indian-born author has enjoyed great success during his literary career of five decades, but he has also faced death threats for some of the content in his work. It was Rushdie's fourth novel, The Satanic Verses, which became his most controversial book, and he was forced to go into hiding as a result of the backlash. Let's talk, let's take a closer look at the 75-year-old writer's life. He was born in Mumbai, modern-day Mumbai, in 1947. He was educated in England and allowed his Muslim faith to lapse. His acclaimed second novel, Midnight Children, won the Booker Prize in 1981. His book, The Satanic Verse, sparked international turmoil and sometimes deadly protests. Following his publication in 1988, some Muslims accused Rushdie of blasphemy. Rushdie went into hiding for nine years after receiving death threats. A year after the book's publication, Iran then Supreme Leader Ayatollah Ruhollah Khamenei issued a fatwa or decree calling for his assassination. Others who were involved with translating the book were attacked, even killed. Iran stopped formally backing the fatwa in 1998. Rushdie continued writing books afterwards and published an account of the controversy in 2012. He has two children, lives in the U.S. and was knighted by the Queen in 2007 for his services to literature. This news is from the Daily This is from BBC. Please subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.